For years now, the smartphones that we use on a day-to-day -day basis and the cellular networks that they connect to have been pushing this idea that we always need to be connected anywhere we go, giving us instant access to streaming media while on the go, social networks, or simply having an internet connection so that we can play our favorite games on our smartphone. Now, personally, I do live a pretty connected life, but there are times when my family and I enjoy disconnecting while also exploring great places that don't have 4G or 5G connections so that we can be out of reach just for a little bit. Fortunately, that's where the Motorola Defy Satellite Link and the Cat S75 smartphone come into play, since both of these devices use the Bullet Satellite Service, giving you direct satellite connectivity pretty much anywhere you are across the globe. And both of these are powered by chipsets from MediaTek, who we've partnered with to sponsor this video. Believe it or not, this little device here allows you to connect to a constellation of geostationary satellites that are over 22,000 miles above the Earth. And think of the Motorola Defy Satellite Link as just a rugged alternative to an internet hotspot device that you connect to your smartphone. But rather than delivering a 5G connection from a cellular network, it connects to a satellite system, allowing you to send messages, your location, and even contacting emergency services using the built-in SOS button on the side here. As you can see, the satellite link is a pretty simple device with a power button followed by a location check-in button on the right-hand side here, and then also a USB-C port for charging, which is protected by a rubber flap here for dust and water resistance. And then there's that SOS button on the other side. Overall, this thing is incredibly light, but it does have a 600 milliamp hour battery on the inside and also that MediaTek MT6825 NTN chip that allows for the satellite connectivity for messaging. It may not look like it, but this thing is actually built for the great outdoors. So it does have IP68 dust and water resistance, MilSpec 8810 certification that covers vibrations, humidity, even salt mist, and then thermal shock, allowing it to work in temperatures as low as 22 degrees and as hot as 131 degrees Fahrenheit. All that to say, the Motorola Defy Satellite Link will probably survive the grid outdoors a little bit better than you will, but that's probably exactly what you want when you're getting a device like this. Now, getting this set up and connected with your smartphone is pretty simple, but there are quite a few steps involved. The included instructions that come in the box will walk you through the entire process, which does include setting up a bullet account, then entering in your unique device activation code that does come in the box, selecting the plan that you're going to be needing, and then installing the bullet satellite messaging app on your smartphone and then the final step of the process is connecting both of these devices via Bluetooth of course there are a few different plan options from bullet but you do get the essential plan for the first 12 months for free with your initial activation of the satellite link which gives you 30 messages per month and free 24 7 SOS assistance which we're gonna talk about in a minute but after that first 12 months you are gonna need to pay 499 for that essential plan but there are a couple other plans options as well which essentially just bump up your allotment of monthly messages and then there's the yearly freedom plan which gives you a total of 250 messages that you can use at any time at your own discretion without having to worry about a monthly allotment the one thing that does stay consistent across all the plans though is the free sos service which is great I do want to point out that these are the very first commercially available devices featuring the new 3G PP NTN technology, which is pretty significant due to its improvement in coverage for handheld terminals, providing a better user experience when you do need to communicate when you are off the regular cellular grid. The first time that I used the satellite link this summer was just a couple weeks back in Michigan's Upper Peninsula for a family reunion. Surprisingly for me, cellular connectivity was pretty good in the area when we were passing through the different small towns, but it quickly dropped off once we got off the beaten path and went out hiking. When you do open up the Bullet Satellite Messaging app on your smartphone, when you don't have a cellular connection, you will be shown the connection status between the phone and the satellite link, and then also the connection to the satellite as well. Keep in mind that for the best connection possible to the satellite constellation, you will want to have a clear sky above you and away from any obstructions that might block that satellite connection. Personally, I was underneath a canopy of trees most of the time and pretty close to some rock formations by a river, but I really didn't have any issues with the satellite connection while I was out hiking. 
from the app, you can then send a message to pretty much anyone in your contacts list as long as you have their phone number. Just keep in mind that if you are sending a message to someone for the first time, it will send that person a text message asking them to install the Bullet messaging app on their device since it actually is needed for them to reply to you. Fortunately, no subscription plan is needed on their end. Surprisingly, you can actually message back and forth with very little noticeable delay, which is quite nice, but just keep in mind to keep the chatting to a minimum just because you do have a limited monthly allotment and you want to save those for when you actually need them. And you can easily send your latitude and longitude by pressing the location check-in button at the bottom of the screen so that your friends and family can keep updated as to where you are. Bullet is also planning on adding a dedicated tracking feature to its services as well, which will send location information to a designated contact at regular intervals. This will likely have a negative effect on battery life for sure, since the Defy satellite link will be pinging those satellites much more often. But overall, the 600 milliamp hour battery on the inside of this device lasts pretty long, at about three days on a single charge, which is definitely a lot longer than what your smartphone is gonna last you when you're out there without plugging it in. Based on Bullet's current coverage map, the US and Europe are already completely covered, with the majority of Canada getting coverage this summer. But there's plans for a phase four rollout scheduled for Q3 of this year, which will add coverage for Africa, South America, Australia, and the Pacific Islands as well, which means you'll have a hard time finding a spot where you won't be able to have coverage by the end of the year. The one final feature of the bullet messaging service that I do want to talk about is the 24 seven SOS service that comes free with any of the messaging plan. Pressing the SOS button on the side of the satellite link or within the app itself won't directly contact 911 emergency services. Instead, you'll be contacting Focus Point International, which is a specialized emergency response as a service company with 16 offices on five different continents and over 5,000 personnel. Your location and account details will be transmitted along with that SOS notification so that you can be walked through a series of messages to determine the severity of the SOS and whether or not any services are actually needed. If they are, they'll help coordinate a rescue through local emergency response services or simply help you get in touch with something as simple as a tow truck if you happen to be on the side of the road with a flat tire out in the middle of nowhere without any cell phone reception. Fortunately, we didn't need the SOS feature while we were hiking in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, but having the option available in case something did go wrong definitely added to our peace of mind. And hopefully this is something that we'll never have to use. While the Motorola Defy satellite link is a great option for anyone who already has a smartphone and wants to add satellite connectivity for their messaging, the CAT S75 is a great alternative with an all-in-one smartphone solution. It's powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 930 SoC in conjunction with the same MediaTek MT6825 satellite chip, and the CAT S75 is a rugged smartphone, so it's built for the great outdoors, but it also has 5G and satellite connectivity. As you'd expect, the Bullet Satellite Service Messaging app does come pre-installed on the phone, and you do get a slightly better readout with the app itself, showing you the satellite's position and your connection to it as you're moving around. The overall performance is pretty good for a mid-range device, but most of the attention on this phone has been put into the phone's outdoor durability, which includes IP69K, MilSpec 810H, and even being drop tested at 1.8 meters onto steel. On top of that, all the external components of the smartphone have been manufactured with materials that have been blended with a silver ion-based antimicrobial additive. Honestly, it's a great alternative to a smartphone for anyone who's looking for a device that can definitely survive the great outdoors. With both the MediaTek Defy satellite link and the Cat S75, both of which powered by the MediaTek MT6825 NTN, you'll be able to stay connected anywhere you go. Being able to completely disconnect from the news cycle, social media, or even work from emails is something that we all need when we're out in nature. But options like these are a great middle ground, allowing you to have a lifeline in case of an emergency or simply the added security of knowing that you do have a connection if and when you need it. I'd like to thank MediaTek for sponsoring this video. And if you want more details about these MediaTek powered devices that we showed off today, be sure to check out the link in the video description below, where we'll also be highlighting the Bullet Satellite Messaging Service as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.